Welcome back to another HTML tutorial with Pixum Web. In today's episode, we're going to cover the P tag, which is known as the paragraph tag. Uh, the paragraph tag is pretty much what it sounds like. It is a section of content within your articles of your web page that is formatted as a paragraph. So to get started with the P tag for the paragraphs, you just use the lesser than sign followed by the P lowercase and then the greater than sign. Then you will put your content in between the opening uh, P tag and the closing P tag, which I have down here. Let me just clean that up a little bit. Um, so you will put your content in there and you could have more than one paragraph in a section of content. So I'm gonna copy that just to show you how it will look. All right, so we're gonna save that. So now the P tags uh, like most other tags, go in between the body tags of your HTML document, and they can be formatted for this particular uh, paragraphs that you want to provide your content for. So let's see how that would look in a web page. So here we are in my local development site. As we know, we did this on our local uh, server on the computer, and we're going to refresh it. And as you see, you have your various paragraphs uh, there. Uh, the styling of it is determined by the CSS uh, that you choose. Um, I just made this as uh, simple as possible just for demonstration purposes. But in essence, the paragraph tags is just the opening and closing P tags with the lesser than sign, the P, and the greater than sign, content, and then the closing tag right there. Uh, you can style it any way you want, and I'll just give you a sneak peek in the styling for over here. So we could just give it, that's the actual element that we're going to target. And now, let's say we want to make the color, and I'll make it something simple, red, save, refresh. All right, so see, now we made our paragraphs, uh, the text color red. Um, that's going into CSS, which we'll cover in another tutorial series. Uh, but in this episode, I just wanted to cover how you create a paragraph uh, for your web page and website and your the content that goes in between your articles. Uh, typically, you would have the heading tags right above the first paragraph uh, for the H1 or H2. And then if there's secondary or tertiary content um, within that article, you would put the, the corresponding heading tags for that particular section of content. Uh, we'll go further and deeper into the layout of a web page in another tutorial. Just want to get, give you a brief overview of the P tag for paragraphs. Thank you for watching this episode and don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we'll be providing more tutorials on HTML and how to create a website with the markup language of the hypertext markup language, in particular HTML5. Also, if you have any comments, thoughts, ideas, or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next episode.